The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us today here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God, word, and prayer. We finish up this week, the 9th of March, by the, reading the 19th chapter, the 19th chapter of the Gospel of St. Luke. So let's hear God's word together and pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways, that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I will declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Beginning now in Luke, the 19th chapter, verses 1 through 10, entitled Jesus and Zacharias. He entered Jericho and was passing through, and there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich, and he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small of stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus hurried and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and I have defrauded, and if I have defrauded any one of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is the son of Abraham, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. So far the word of the Lord. Jesus saves Zacchaeus by visiting him with mercy. Followers of Jesus dare never begrudge the mercy others have received. The gospel can save one sinner who repents just as well as another. The saving love of Jesus seeks and reaches out to all people. We pray, Lord, in your name, we welcome all who repent and share in the forgiveness we have received. Grant us willing hearts to share the gospel freely. In your name we pray. Amen. Now verses 11 through 27, the parable of the ten minion, minions. As they heard these things, he proceeded to tell a parable, because he was near to Jerusalem and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. He said, therefore, A nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and then return. Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten minion and said to them, Engage in business until I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. When he returned, having received the kingdom, he ordered these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained by doing business. The first came before him and saying, Lord, your minya has made ten minyas more. And he said to him, Well done, good servant. Because you've been faithful in a very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, your minna has made five minas. And he said to him, And you are to be, and you are to be over five cities. Then another came, saying, Lord, here is your minna, which I have kept laid away in a handkerchief. For I was afraid of you, because you are a severe man. You take what you did not deposit and reap what you did not sow. He said to him, I will condemn you with your own words, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a severe man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money in the bank, and at my coming I might have collected it with interest? And he said to those who stood by, Take the minion from him, and give it to the one who has the ten minions. And they said to him, Lord, and they said to him, Lord, he has ten minions. I tell you that to everyone who has more will be given, but from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slaughter them before me. So far the word of the Lord. Our returning king will abolish all opposition to his, 
to his kingdom and will honor and will honor those who faithfully serve him never take god's word for granted hoarding the gifts that you have received christ calls you to share his word faithfully and he is ever generous and merciful toward you his gifts work his gifts work effectively in your life and through you in the lives of others we pray grant O generous lord that we may always remain faithful in our stewardship of your gifts in your name we pray amen verses 28 through 40 the triumphal entry and when jesus had said these things he went on ahead going up to jerusalem when he drew near to bethpage bethpage and bethany at the mount that is called olivet he sent two of the disciples saying Go into the village in front of you, where on entering you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever yet sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? You shall say this, the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent went away and found it, just as he had told them. And as they were untying the colt, its owners said to them, why are you untying the colt? And they said, the Lord has need of it. And they brought it to Jesus and throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus upon it, and as he rode along, they spread their cloaks on the road. As he was drawing near, already on the way down the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. So far the word of the Lord. Jesus fulfills Old Testament prophecy and is acclaimed the messianic king. Take joy in the reign of your Savior who answers prayers with wonder and grants abiding peace. We pray, O Lord, how shall I meet you? How welcome you all right. Your people long to greet you, my hope, my heart's delight. In your name I pray. Amen. Verses 41 through 44, Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. And when he drew near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes, for the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not know the time of your visitation. So far the word. Jesus weeps over Jerusalem's present blindness and future fate. His heart still breaks for those who have not yet received his word. Pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for your neighbors that they would receive Jesus who came in compassion to seek and to save the lost. We pray, ride on, ride on in majesty, in lowly pomp, ride on to die. Bow thy meek head to mortal pain, then take, O God, thy power and reign. In Jesus' name, amen. And lastly, verses 45 through 48, Jesus cleanses the temple. And he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. And he was teaching daily in the temple. The chief priests and the scribes and the principal men of the people were seeking to destroy him, but they did not find anything they could do. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were hanging on his words. So far, the word of the Lord. Jesus goes directly to the temple to cleanse it, for proper service, the hearing of God's word. Today, beware of worldly distraction from the Lord's word. Hang on his word, for Jesus cleanses our hearts by faith in his holy word. We pray, cleanse us, O Savior, from everything that would separate us from your holy word and your gracious reign. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. On this ninth day of March, we, in the Pray For Us calendar, we pray for the students and the professors of Lutheran Theological Seminary in Bagua City, Philippines, that they in the Philippines might serve the Lutheran Church faithfully.
We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer of the church. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. As well as Marilyn and Chris, Colleen and Bonnie, Art and George, Jane and Karen, Marianne and Helen, Clifford, Melissa, Rick, and Art. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.